Today I'm going to be fabricating an 8 inch round end cap. This end cap has a quarter inch single seam with a half inch lap seam. You will need two pieces. This piece is called the body. I'm notching a quarter inch by half. The half inch lap and one W is my quarter inch. The next piece is a disc or a circle and I'm gonna have to cut this one eight and seven eighths. So let's go ahead and roll the body. Now using the spot welder, I am fastening the seam. Again, that's a half inch lap seam. Using the ring and circle shear, I am cutting the bottom disc. I have set the circle shear to eight and seven eighths. If you are using the ring and circle shear properly, it will probably take around three to four revolutions to cut through the metal. Now I'm going to make my way to the power flanger. This power flanger turns an edge and the edge allowance is 3 16 Once you are satisfied with your edge, remove it from the machine. Now you have noticed that by taking it out of the machine, it flattened a certain portion. But this portion, I'm gonna repair it using the manual easy edger. You can also use a hammer and a dolly or your pliers as long as you raise it back up 90. So now that that's repaired, I take a quick look to see what the gap that I have going around the body and the cap. This kind of gives me an idea on how much of a flange I should be turning. And in this case, I'm gonna turn a quarter inch flange. This quarter inch flange I like to turn it approximately 75 degrees to 80 degrees, not totally 90 yet. This is to simplify setting it inside the cap. Once I'm confident that the fit is going to be okay, I will be flipping the disc upside down and using a mallet. I will now tap on the cap and at the same time it is bending the flange 90 on the body. The goal is to have the flange of the body push against the sidewall of the 3 16 flange. That went well. Now the next step is to tack the cap to the body. And once you've tacked it in four or five different spots, it is time to set the whole single seam down approximately 75 degrees. Try and be as careful as you can not to dent the side of the body or scratch it. Here you see me using a shield. The main reason for using the shield is basically just to stop the scratches and some of the dents that may occur 
while you are setting your seam. Now that the seam is hammered down approximately 70 to 80 degrees, let's use the brake to finish it and close it off nice and tight. Be careful not to bring the brake down too tight because you could create kinks on your cap. <laughs> 